sticky shred so bad. Roll Baxter, roll. Roll Baxter, roll Baxter. The first time we fixed Baxter's board, or Piper's board, we just put some construction adhesive and some duct tape. We wrote it. Danielle and I were just as broken and we still could be repaired if we simply try. This one's for you, Mike Monica. Just like Christian, you say you don't watch my videos. And then five minutes later, you say, oh, you don't think I see videos of you bawling your eyes out for your kids? Well, remember when you fucking arrested me on Father's Day, you piece of shit? You charged me with felony obstruction? God, if I knew now, if I knew then what I know now, <laughs> I never would have, never would have been on probation. I would not be a felon now. You're a fucking derelict, Mike Monica. I told you I was suicidal on July 8th when I had a broken finger and you arrested me for felony stalking of Ray Toscano. Again, how many times can you, how many felonies can you charge me with on Trenton Ave? You fucking piece of shit, Mike. What the fuck, bro? Just a piece of shit. I just talked to Dylan for 14 minutes Ever since that Father's Day, you fucked up, dude. You're just a piece of shit, you and Ray. It was not obstruction. No way, not by any means. I asked if, I asked it, hey, is that a legal parking spot? That's it, Chris. Get over here. You're under arrest. Asking about a parking spot, you guys charged me with felony obstruction. You guys are the biggest pieces of shit on planet Earth. Ray Toscano, Mike Monica, Ryan Tolko, Colin Grant, Justin Lamb, all you other guys too, Chris Oriano, Jerry Caprone, Keith Lovegren, just throw you in there, but we're still on the cops. Artie Reese, Ryan Greenhall, John Andrews, Piero, Christian, La Cicero, Adam, you called me the N-word at the Crab's Claw. When you call someone the N-word and look at them like you looked at me, you place people in fear for their life. When I'm sure other people who've been called the N-word can relate. When someone calls you the N-word, it places you in fear for your life. Usually. I mean, from my experience, it's, it's, like a, it's almost like an instant death threat. It's just really, really traumatizing. <clears throat> so <clears throat> I just talked to Dylan for 14 minutes. He said he loves me. He said I could call him tomorrow. We'll see if his mom lets me talk to him tomorrow. Danielle, you fucking cunt. <laughs> Bring it on. All right, Danielle, let's go. Let's drop all the videos, all the voicemails. You said bring it on. You want to have a battle forever and ever? Let's have a fucking perpetual battle. You want to put it all on social media? Bring it on, you said. Well, I still love you. And you're still being a fucking cunt. And that's that. So, use this. Try to use this against me, too. It's not going to work. You guys are cheaters. You're all cheaters. I need to see Dylan. Dylan needs to see me. He's never caught a wave. He's never caught a fish. He's caught attitude from you for calling me two hours too early. You telling my son he's going to get in trouble for fucking calling me. That is the definition of a fucking beautiful person who's scorned. And it's my fault. But you know what you are. And you know I love you for it. So call me. Creepy, cringy, Dilly. I love you, Dilly. I miss you, buddy. Got the board all fixed, salvaged, reduce, reuse, recycle, keeping it out of the ocean by putting it back in the ocean. I love you, Pipe and Dilly. But back to business. This derelict lied to a grand jury. He is just the scum of the earth. All these guys, they're all conspirators. They're all trying to accomplish this man's goal to shut me up 
remove me from Lavalette, keep their little dark secrets secret, continue to pay their kids, pass the money down every generation, protect their addictions, and just continue to disgrace police officers everywhere and try to shame me. They kicked a certified lifeguard off the beach in the middle of the day. I've, I made a rescue in front of the lifeguards once. They never even said thank you. I rescued two kids. I'm, I threw out all my signs. I'm taking this to federal court. These idiots are so small time this kid was actually a prosecutor. The prosecutor's office is totally connected to these conspiracies involving the Lavalette police, the drugs, the heroin, the cocaine, the cover-ups. Let's put a stop to this.